Hello, uh, my name is Jeremy Sagan-Bunny, and I want to show you a little sketch that I wrote um, that I called JOS, which stands for Jeremy's Operating System, which is not really a, a full operating system, but I couldn't think of another name, so. Anyway, let's hop to it. Uh, when you boot the sketch up, this is what comes up. Uh, you notice there's five menu buttons and a settings button. There's a message box button, and there's a home icon. So when you uh, go to a menu, uh, what it'll bring up is menu one, button one, menu one, button two, and then, of course, if you press any of the buttons, you'll get the indicator that that button was pushed, and then uh, the there's nothing on the sketch now in these. Uh, what you do is you give these custom names so they make sense. So when you go to, you know, menu four, button three, you'd have your custom name in there and then do your custom action, be it serial strings or pin control or whatever, whatnot. Uh, hit the home icon to return home. If you're already home, the home icon will flash red, indicating that you're already here. And what that does is saves a redraw of the screen. Looks a little nicer. Uh, up at the title bar, um, you can see that there's some things. I'm going to try to change the lighting here so that comes in a little bit better. Uh, is that this, uh, you can have status messages up here. Uh, this is a message box or anything going on here, but there's a, there's a smaller bar for messages up here. Uh, there's just the, the, name of this sketch here. There's a little signal icon which uh, you can turn red and white depending on how what thing you mean. The code is already there for that uh, as an option so if you want to hook this up to an XB and indicate like a RSSI you can go ahead and do that. And there's a battery icon uh, which is active which I'll show you in a little bit. So uh, let's go to the settings screen here and there's a backlight level uh, obviously the plus and minus and um, you can go here and turn the backlight down and you can turn the backlight up. And with the the sleep time is adjustable. Um, it goes uh, always on. I think four hours, all the way down to ten seconds here. And when you save these, um, it writes this to EEPROM. So if I turn my backlight way down, I say okay, we're good, and I save this. Uh, that actually writes that to EEPROM. You can see it's incredibly dim. I'm going to reset this sketch. You can see my camera jig there in the reflection. I'll show it to you in a minute. And uh, you can see it retained the backlight settings, which to me is incredibly annoying. So let's crank this puppy back up. So anyway, um, this is the, the current voltage uh, of the supply voltage. Um, so if you're... There's different ways to gauge the battery value. The battery maps out uh, how full it is depending on a scale that I put in there. I'm running this off a of USB, but there is... Uh, I put it and the comments of the code, how to adjust that if you're going to run it at a lower voltage. If you wanted to run it off like three AAA cells, uh, you'd want a different scale for that, and the comments are in the code for that, so uh, back out. But that's basically it. It's just a nice menu way to drive things. This, of course, runs off the 2.8-inch uh, TFT screen available at Adafruit.com. Uh, it's a great screen. I actually like it really, really much. And uh, there's... Um, it's using the touchscreen library, uh, which is for this touchscreen on, on top of the TFT and as well as the TFT library. So uh, it's out there. Enjoy it. Hack it. And if you want to laugh, you can see my camera jig, which is actually also from Adafruit. But it's just this little little stand with a magnifying glass. Also useful for holding iPhones, so your video is not annoying. Thanks. All right. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is show you the sleep. Um, and it doesn't put the... Uh, the 328 to sleep, what it does is just sleep the backlight, which basically takes all the current suckingness out of it. So if I save it to 10 seconds, I hit settings saved, um, you'll see that uh, 10 seconds will pass, and then what, the, what will happen is the backlight will slowly fade out, and it'll just go to sleep. And then to wake it up, of course, you just tap anywhere on the screen, and it's awake again. And then, of course, again, 10 seconds, uh, 20, 30, 1 minute, 2 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours. And then, of course, if you want, always on for some reason, you can do that too. But if you're running this on batteries, this is like a must. Uh, it'll do wonders for your battery life. Hello. Uh, right now, I want to show you the battery feature, uh, the battery indication feature here. Uh, sorry, I hate blurry video. Um... You can see the battery icon there. It's kind of washed out, but it has a white outline with a green center here. And uh, basically, I wrote a little, uh, there's a line of code in there that says, um, you know, every X amount of seconds, whatever you adjust that to, check the voltage, and then map the little green bar according to the voltage here. 
So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do this a very crude way because I have I don't have a fancy power supply. So I basically have just just on the power rails of this board. I'm going to hook it up to a 25k pot. And um, when I do here, you're going to see me hook this uh, this guy up. I'm gonna, it's not hooked up quite yet. Uh, we're going to keep the the camera on the battery meter here, and um, you'll see that it immediately starts going down. And as we turn this and increase the load, uh, it'll just go down further and further and further. And then when it gets down, um, sorry about that, when it gets down uh, to a certain percentage, uh, which is ad uh, adjustable in the code, uh, it will turn red, indicating that, hey, you really need to pay attention to your battery until eventually it will go all the way down and this potentiometer gets really hot in my hand. So, that's basically in a nutshell um, what that guy is there. So, uh, the color and the map value of the bar is adjustable with minimum and maximum voltages depending on if you're powering us off a of USB or three AAA batteries or whatnot. Um, it's in the comments of the code.